Hello there people, this is Christian and welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. This is from a question on Reddit. There's a question on making a su uh, support or support for an arc shaped bracket something here you need to put something in might be anything and you need to print it in the orientation see the screen so there's going to be overhang below here which could need a lot of support from the print pad and might end up looking quite ugly and a simple solution of course is the yellow version just put the chamfer on things all the way around but it gets quite big it doesn't matter, really matter much for print speed better you're only printing perimeters if you're not printing massive but it looks a bit too much so version is doing this in the middle where we have a constant angle of this face here way up and as you say this is a chamfer a draft creates the same thing you want to draft this face this those faces here out you're going to end up with this and if you want to do something like this nice see the sweep thing here we're going to have a look at this so uh, i have by design not put the anything here on the region planes here so i can't use them so step one i need a construction plane that runs through the middle of this arc and is perpendicular so we can look at the uh, the plane from this orientation so what we're going to do we're going to use construct and we're going to use a uh, mid plane we can sele select outside face or inside faces but as long as we select the symmetry faces on one both side here by using this we get the plane for the middle of everything we're going to do a sketch on this new plane here and i like to use shortcuts i'm going to hit s on the key to keyboard and start typing intersect not interference intersect going to selection field is going to be body i'm going to simply select this body and hit ok ok i'm going to hide the body for now it makes it easier to see so now we have in lines where Gonna turn the body on here. So this is the inter intersection of this body at this plane. So we're gonna hide the body now. We don't need all these lines, and I like to remove them because I get an unwanted profile here. So we're gonna hit delete and delete these lines. We only need the line that is. I'm gonna turn on the body again, representing the wall down here and the underside of this arc shape. And we're gonna do a line from end out here down to here and d for dimension and we're going to do the angle here so let's just do it 45 for now so we can do the discussion here we can set the angle of our overhang if we are a bit uh, careful we might change this to 50 degree or um, sorry other way around 40 degrees so we get a more shallow angle like that which means it a bit easier to print so let's run it with 40 degrees so you can change this later no problem let's turn on the body have a look so that's our profile it's in the middle of arc we're going to do finish sketch and yes we can use the menus now solid tab the blue ones and we're going to do a sweep we get up the sweep dialog box step one the profile is going to be this profile the next step is important we uncheck change selection because we only want this arc shape here so we're going to change the path and select the arc we can select the outer arc or the inner arc here both of these are connected to the profile so we're going to control the profile nicely going to hit this one and it makes the ugly thing here it's basically the same thing as our chamfer and we don't want that so we change orientation to parallel this means it keeps the profile in the same orientation the whole time and that means uh, it works all the way out to the tangent point here after it basically would fail and create bad geometry so we can't use it for anything it was good for this half circle arc and of course join and okay and by that we have a nice support here and what new we can right click the sketch select a show dimensions and like oh i like to move a dimension out here Make by I want it even more shallow. Let's do it 30 degree. What does that look like? Maybe it's more that's more what I want to have. I get more material. So with that, you can play around and do stuff. Let's go back to 45, like the rest of them here. So that's how I would create a support for 3D printing below an arc-shaped bracket. With that said, take care, see you around, and goodbye.